So before I knew about certain things like the probiotics and the diet and things, before that, when my intestines were already kind of damaged because of the foods I had eaten and because of the inflammation, actually healthy food was, and fibrous foods were the things that I avoided because they would cause blockages pretty quickly. Because my intestines were already damaged and the inflammation was already there, those things um, were not absorbed well and my stomach could not digest them very well and couldn't break it down. But now I know it's because my intestines were al already previously damaged because of the unhealthy food. Now that my intestines are more, um, they're healed and they're more um, stable, healthy food is what keeps things going well. And now I can digest it. Before, I stayed away from salad, I stayed away from broccoli, I stayed away from anything that wasn't cooked, that wasn't, you know, any vegetables that weren't cooked. Um, I had to stay away from most healthy foods. I had to stay away from popcorn, any corn was a bad one. Um, things like that really were hard for me to digest. But now that I know that that's not actually what was causing the problem, that was just a byproduct of the, the problem to begin with that just kind of compounded once, once things are, once things are unhealthy and um, messed up, then you can't really eat those things. You kind of have to, basically there's, there's this diet called the SCD, SCD diet. It's called the Specific Carbohydrate Diet. It's a doctor who has come up with the theory that certain types of foods, um, those pathogenic bacteria feed off the those types of foods in your digestive system and that kind of contributes to them living. If you cut out those foods, they don't really have a food source and so then your your microbiome and your gut gets back to healthy. So the main foods on that list are um, starchy foods, which I haven't been doing that great with lately, are like white potatoes, um, sugar, a lot of processed sugars, um, gluten is one of them, sadly. <laughs> just more of the processed breads, things like that. Just processed food in general, basically. Corn is one of them, that's an inflammatory food. Dairy, a lot of dairy. Basically, you have to start out on this diet by cutting out those foods so that things can heal and so that the bacteria can get back into more of a balance. And then eventually um, you can start adding things back in, but you just, you want to make sure to maintain an overall healthy diet. So 